My BFI player choice this week was the first feature film by an African-American woman to get a wide release in the US, debuting in 1991 at the Sundance Film Festival, where it won the prize for Best Cinematography. It's gone on to become a canonized modern classic, selected for the Library of Congress National Film Registry in 2004, and hailed as a milestone of modern cinema, Julie Dash's Daughters of the Dust. Nova Scotia. I like the sound of you know. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. I never had too much trouble making a dollar. Never knew nobody else to do that. I can't stand still. Got to keep moving. New faces. New places. As formally adventurous as it is historically groundbreaking, Daughters of the Dust focuses on three generations of Gula or Geechee women, the descendants of slaves transported from West Africa to St. Helena Island off the coast of South Carolina, now preparing to migrate north. As they do so, past and future collide in a hauntingly poetic film that can be variously described as a tough melodrama or a dreamy political tract, but which the director herself described, like Lizzie Borden's Born in Flames, as being a kind of sci-fi. In the years since its release, Daughters of the Dust has grown in stature, providing inspiration for Beyonce's visual album Lemonade and being cited by director Barry Jenkins as a key inspiration for his Oscar winner Moonlight. Yet when Simran Hans interviewed Dash in 2017, following a 25th anniversary restoration of Daughters of the Dust, the filmmaker, whose subsequent CV includes TV movies and documentaries such as the Rosa Parks story, confessed that she'd never made another feature simply because of money. It's not that I was before my time, she said, referencing a comment by Selma director Ava DuVernay. It was that female directors didn't have anyone quarterbacking for us. We didn't have anyone shepherding us for the second one. It's sobering to think that the creator of a film as influential as Daughters of the Dust should have faced such an uphill struggle. Well, hopefully the filmmaking world has changed since then. And if it has, then Daughters of the Dust is surely one of the reasons why.